In this video, we can see the protests in every corner of Iran and most of them are led by the Iranian woman. So it all started from the death of an Iranian woman, the 22-year-old Masa Amini, uh, because she had been detained in the custody for allegedly violating the restricted law, uh, which is require a woman to cover their hair with a hijab. But after being detained in the custody for three days, like she died on September 16, but the police said like, she died because she fed a heart attack but her father responded like we didn't see any heart problem on her body but we only see the bruises on her legs after the police statement protests began on social media and in the streets on september 17 during Amini's funeral in Sayyad Kardistan thousands of people marched into protests and they shouted the chants dead to the dictator and some women removed their hair scarves and hijabs. <laughs> then the demonstration spread and hundreds of Iranians gathered around the University of Iran shouting women, life and freedom. Protests were taking place in many places in Rast, Mashhad, Itfahin and Tahirin and there were a number of clashes between the local security forces and demonstrators. However, on the other side, the Supreme Leader uh, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, he went to Amini's house to show his condolences and his sorrow to her dead. But uh, the authorities blame on the local terrorist group in Kurdistan. But a few days later, they crap accepts to the social media like WhatsApp and Instagram. During the last week of September, protesters in Tehran and several cities torched police stations and vehicles. On September 23rd, the state organized the rallies in several cities with marchers calling for protesters to be executed. Authorities deny on the reports that the local security forces committed the brutal crackdowns to the people, but so far, according to the local human rights group and CNN, more than 344 people died, including 43 children and 25 women. Kim Kardashian, Bella Hadid, Justin Bieber, and many more celebrities, public figures, and politicians have taken to social media in the weeks since Amini's death to share the story and voice for the women of Iran amid her tragic death and the protests that have followed. Even the players from Iran national football team, they cover up the team badge during their one more training session before the World Cup in September to show their support for the protest. There are more than 275 million of trees on Twitter using their passion hashtag for Amini's name. A song called Burai, whose lyrics are based on protest trees and which became the anthem of the uprising, is very likely to win a Grammy. During the past few years, most of the women in Iran are oppressed by ruthless military dictator and strict and conservative traditional laws, but now they are fighting for their future, fighting for their rights, fighting for human rights, and those women power making a new revolution in their community. and those powers sending Iran into a new turning point in the country's history. For dancing in the alleys and the streets For the thrill and the fear of getting caught kissing For my sister, my brother and unity For all the times we tried to change their minds and stale beliefs For the loss of pride, for poverty For the dream of just a normal life for you and me For all the children who were starving for a loaf of bread For the greed of politics and all the lies they spread for all the